Hi folks, I'm Rich from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. I'm here to introduce you to one of our new arrivals. It's a 1953 MGTD, truly one of the great classic British sports cars. This is really a car that can be attributed to America's love affair with sports cars, considering many of these cars were brought here and raced. The unique things about this car that makes it so great is really is a handmade car, and that's evident with everything you see. Ours is presented in a traditional British racing green, and of course the majority of them came with the steel wheels with the MG logo. So let's take a quick little tour, and we can see some of the really unique, clever features that makes this car so great, and even more so enjoyable to drive, whether it's uh, on your favorite backcountry road or a drive to the beach. It's a very, very easy, easy convertible top to take up and down, which is uh, pretty ironic considering most British tops were difficult. This one, of course, if you take the uh, tonneau cover off, and I'll, I'll snap it, the top folds right here. And uh, in addition to the top folding right there, behind there, and I'll give you a little peek here as I unsnap this, if you pull the boot up, you notice how even the entire frame is made of wood. Behind here is a little tiny box that holds your side curtains because the car, of course, does not have roll-up windows. It has the nice low-slung door, so it's great for arm out the window yeah, that's really kind of cool. driving. And floorboards, that's really neat. But this 1953, car, I 1953. mean, this is amazing. If you notice, uh, everything has been refinished in the car from the Connolly leather, it's green Connolly leather, complete brand new uh, walnut dash. All the gauges have been redone. Everything works in the car. Beautiful paint in the car. Love the uh, Continental kit there, spare. That's where they put the spare. Not room to put it inside. But I'll show you some neat features uh, around the car and under the hood. It has hood latches, so obviously it opens up on both sides of the motor compartment. A beautiful little inline four there. Mm -hmm. Even the dipstick, see with the MG logo on it. Uh -huh. All the correct Lucas equipment as it was originally installed. Even the battery box, if you notice, is made of wood. And if you notice right here, even the plaques that show the serial number to the car, everything is all made of brass. It's very, very old school in terms of the way the car was built. Show you some really neat, Jeff. Look in here. Yep. This is the original cool. toolbox. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, see the brass plaque with the serial oh, yeah. number and the date of production. And over here, it's all lined with this nice mouse for so your tools. And that's the original tool kit. Nothing uh, rattles around as you drive down the road. That's pretty cool. This puppy just came in last night. Uh, oh, I'm excited about it. It's we've, a beautiful car. All we've had to do is wash it. I love the grill across the uh, the headlights. Very cool feature. Beautiful grill. And even the badges are all the cloisonne badges. They're all old school with the radiator. And if you notice right here, it's got a hole. Yep. It has a crank that goes in there. So you don't have to use the starter if you don't want. You can actually jump start it with a crank. <laughs> and the crank uh, is with the car. It stores behind the rear seat. Awesome. Why don't you start it up for us? First time every time. Look at that. Pretty little. <laughs> the turn signals. Hey, look at him go.